Hi everyone! Sound a bit nasally, did I? That's because I have a cold that will not leave me. No matter what I do, it stays. So anyway, um, today is the fourth day on my God-forsaken life change. And I have to say, okay, now before I get into the, the life change, food change, whatever you want to call it, diet is not a good word because diet never works. So, anyway, I'm doing really good on, uh, I'm, I am Miss, you know, Krabby McCrabberson, Monday and Tuesday. And I'm telling you, Krabby McCrabberson. I was so crabby, I just wanted to smack someone. And I'm not like that. I'm not like that. So, I um, continued to eat what I should for the first two days. The third day, well, on um, Tuesday night, my aunt called me, who is 78 years old. And she got her tax check, and she told me she's been waiting for three months to take me to Chinese. How was I going to say no? So instantly the guilt from both sides started to hit me. If I say no, it's going to break her heart. Because, you know, her kids don't like it. And only, I, she loves to go with me. So I said, well, I, she said, it's the only thing I've wanted to do for three months. And you know that we don't do this very often. I said, I know, I know. So I said, okay. I swore to myself I would eat not that much, not as much as I usually do. Because, you know, when you go to a buffet, you tend to just have at it. You know? Especially when you like the food. You eat to get full, not satisfied. You know what I mean? So, I went to Chinese, and I didn't eat anything the rest of the day except for one snack. Uh, no, I ate two snacks, because I ate one before I went, and I ate one later on in the evening. And, uh, because I knew what I ate was a lot a lot of my calories, if not all of them and more. So, <sighs> anyway, I felt bad, but it sure tasted good. Let me just say that again. It sure tasted good. Today I'm back on the wagon again. Uh, I didn't eat breakfast because um, I slept in a little bit. And... Um, a, a longer than I usually do, which isn't very much. And, um, there we go. Sorry. Uh, lost my train of thought. Oh, for lunch I had a salad with the chicken breast in it. Now, let, let me just be frank. I do notice that Eating right takes a lot more preparation, a lot more cooking, a lot more of everything that I don't enjoy. I know I don't enjoy cooking. Now, if I had somebody, you know, a man that I was in love with, cooking is different for me then because I feel like there's a purpose 
Now I just feel like I could get a pan, put a box of macaroni and cheese in there, cook the macaroni and cheese, eat it on a paper plate, wash the pan and the fork. Ta-da! Ta-da! It's done! Done! When you eat right, it's not like that. Not like that. So, I've been also trying to incorporate exercise. Feeling so bad, it's hard to do that. So, I've been doing a little bit, not a lot. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta get a drink. Water. Which I love dearly. Oh, when I went to the Chinese place yesterday, I drank Diet Pop. If any of you know me at all, you know that diet, so diet soda is not for me. So, I did drink a Diet Soda. So, at least I did that. This weekend, me and one of my friends is going to go to Ohio for a little while. Actually, for a day, that's all. It may not, it's, yeah, it'll be a day. Um, she found a sitter, so we're going to go, and, and we're going to have fun. So, I'm excited about that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I was supposed to go to Harry's this weekend, but I decided to go with my friend, so. Um, I think that's all. Uh, I just wanted to check in. I am on MyFitnessPal.com, counting my calories, so if any of you want to add me, it's Dizzy Lizzie Beth. Oh, obviously, that's who I am. Dizzy Lizzie Beth. So, yeah, that's about all, I think. But uh, hopefully I'm going to keep doing these videos and as hopefully I'm going to lose weight and you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do at least one or two a week, okay? So I will see you all soon. Talk to you later. Mwah! Love you all. Bye.